So St. Louis was um, French before it was uh, American, and it was, um, it was part of New France. And there's still pockets in it where um, French has been handed down since the 18th century. Um, there are just a few speakers left. Um, but uh, it also is, bears French names that you have to learn how to mispronounce if you're going to live there. Um, New France. It takes the stranger long to learn each local mispronunciation of names left by coureurs de bois, a long way from the Tuileries and the soft crunch of gravel walks. Gravelway rhymes with Illinois at the ragged edge of Nouvelle France, an avenue without renewal on which the evening sun goes down. It may take years and years to learn each inconvenient indirection through parishes of pawpaw French, the barricades and cul-de-sacs where children congregate at dusk, at ease above their handlebars. A long way from the Tuileries, where swans patrol a standing pool in calligraphic harmony, you turn on Choteau Avenue. No stranger to desuetude, you know each symptom of neglect, the fence of scribbled, scribbled honey vine, or cairn of dust and gravel crushed from the city's porous bedrock, an aggregate of lost intent. Far from any pied a terre, the puddle left from last night's rain reflects no cream of Paris stone, but only les nuages qui passent, the passing clouds, the setting sun. Um, during the Pandemic, for some reason, for a little spell, I was listening to Messiaen's organ music, um, which doesn't really help anything, um, but uh, it seemed to fit with the mood. Um, so this is, this is sort of after listening to that music. Monody. When you wake, a shaft of sunlight undulates through ancient glass with a heft and timber of cord and wheat to glow on gray paint. Again at dusk, an unstopped beam shines through plants and kitchen blinds with the same soft timber and sustain. A calm plaint through scattered cloud, mornings and evenings, rising and setting, the same yet different, different yet the same. Organ stops, speak no names, only tones, the resonance of pressured air that flows through ranks as through your days, feeling implied through pliant rhythms, harmonics heard but not engraved. While you sleep, a whippoorwill pipes unseen through ranks of reeds, whippoorwill, whippoorwill, with the wobble of a spinning wheel the lightest friction that repeats only itself unendingly, each time round, the same yet different, different yet the same. <laughs> Elsie Cigar, who uh, created Popeye, um, was from just down the river from us, um, and it's interesting that he set Popeye in um, by the sea, um, but he was in a river town, and so um, it, you know all the characters he was basing Popeye on were were river folk um, rather than sea folk. Um, Chester, Illinois, cloud piles on cloud, keel scrapes sand, coal dust drifts from a rusty barge. The river full of silt, field, soldered to field, even the light heavy. Far from the sea, Popeye reels along a gravel road with an oar against his shoulder. On Swanwick Street, the rare tourist en route to somewhere else 
ruminates on myths displaced. Roughhouse cooks an omelet as patrons trade in cattle features. The first stirrings before a storm stroke the wings of the wiffle hen, droop, drooping in sleep on a porch rail, as scrapings of harvest home drift down from windows of the opera house in flurries of rosin. Far from the sea, far from its whip and precipitous glare, a floodplain streaked with rills condenses the leaden light. Travelers from vast spaces or truckers in a turnout check their instruments and test infinitives against each hole and hollow to spend the day in a rain barrel, to scour the kitchen clean, to curl beneath an olive quilt, an ember under ash. Thank you.